Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how to create a drop-down navigation in SharePoint Online. What I'm talking about is essentially this over here, all right? You see how instead of just, you know, my navigation links appearing kind of across the board, I have them nicely organized where I click on a, kind of a master label, if you will, and then I see uh, another label and then all my links are then uh, nicely organized underneath. So how do we achieve this? Uh, let me show you. And uh, by the way, I'm going to show you this trick uh, on hub navigation, but it works the same way with a local navigation, whether it's a communication site or uh, a team site. Uh, now, because we'll start with hub navigation, because this is a, uh, this site, this, uh, this site I'm on right now uh, is part of the hub. Uh, I need to navigate in order for me to edit the hub navigation. I need to be at the top of my, uh, at the parent hub essentially, all right? This is it right here. I get to see the edit button and look at this. I have these three links. Let's say I want to organize them one under another, all right? Uh, I know it's uh, kind of not going to make much sense maybe, uh, right, uh, based on the, what the labels you see, but uh, I'm just here to show you how the mechanism of how to achieve this. Uh, so here we go. I want to organize, you know, projects under policies, and then this employee directory will be underneath. How do we make it happen? Quite easy. All you need to do is just click the three dots uh, and say make sublink. All right. So make sublink. Look at this. It moves kind of underneath. All right. Now, if I change my mind, I can always say, you know, promote sublink. All right. Uh, it moves it kind of back to original position. But let's go ahead and make it a sublink. Um, now, there are two levels you can go, two levels, you can go two levels deep. So in this case, I need to create this as a sublink, not once, twice, all right? You see, I'm doing it twice. I can promote it, but I can also make another sublink, all right? So here we go. Now we have it appearing in this kind of ladder kind of style, uh, you know, look and feel, right? And uh, yeah, once I go to level two, you see, I cannot uh, make it a sublink anymore. Again, two levels deep, two levels max. And we're going to hit save. And look at this, here we go. That's exactly what happened. You see, just like you have here, essentially I have this link or label under this main one. And then, you know, my other link uh, appeared in, uh, as a sublink underneath, all right? Uh, now it works the same way on uh, other sites, right? On other types of navigation. This was hub navigation, of course, all right? Uh, but it works the same way on, uh, you know, local navigation as well. So for example, uh, let me edit this uh, navigation over here. Uh, again, you know, I'm, I can make it a sublink. Uh, and if I had additional links, I just don't in this case, but I could, uh, again, go two levels deep. Let's see how that works, uh, how that looks. Here we go, okay? Uh, and again, if I go, let's say I go to, the, to, to a team site, uh, this is of course a team site, not a communication site. The other site was a communication site. This is a team site connected to Microsoft uh, 365 groups. So I have a bunch of quick links on the, on the left here. And let me show you how that works over here. Uh, in terms of setting it up, same idea. Uh, you just kind of, um, you just kind of, uh, you know, do this, all right? Three dots, make sublink, make sublink, you see? And again, I can actually do this. You know, I can go two levels uh, deep if I want to. Again, that's the maximum. And let me click save. All right, and let me refresh the page so you get to see uh, how that looks. Here we go. Pretty much that's how, this is how it will look like, all right? It will uh, not be expanded by default, all right? So if you have a lot of links, it's a nice way for you to organize them. You just expand, you see? You just expand uh, and uh, pretty much you see the, um, you know, in this case, two levels of navigation, all right? Probably with this one, uh, I, I actually don't like how that looks. You know, I think it just, uh, uh, becomes a little bit cumbersome to use. I think uh, the two levels of navigation work quite easily on this horizontal type of navigation, but in my opinion, you know, one, uh, you know, one uh, level of navigation is more than enough here. So um, let me just fix that just so that you can see what I mean. Here we go. Again, I'm going to reload the page. Perfect. So I think, again, one level of navigation is probably sufficient uh, and it uh, expands on this accordion style uh, look and feel. All right, um, so that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, it's a nice uh, little trick for those of you who are managing your own sites, you know, your own, uh, uh, you know, pages in SharePoint Online. 
uh, again, it's a nice little trick uh, to make uh, to improve usability of your sites and to organize information you have on your site. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you today. Uh, hopefully, you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.